Yo guys, what's good? It's your real estate mate and thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Today we are going to discuss an objection that we all get all the time when we want to close some business and the clients want to interview more agents. This channel I created to bring value to you guys and value from a perspective from agents who are actually on the field and executing on a daily. That being said, this video I'm doing a collaboration with Haynes Hustle. This agent is absolutely on fire. He is one of the most creative agents in video format that I've seen. I have learned so much from him and he also does the sales. That is the most important part. So guys, without further ado, Ian is going to give his perspective of, of how he will overcome this objection that seems to stun us in the moment every time. Just to reiterate, this objection is our client wants to see more agents or have more agents work on their property. So how do you secure that exclusive mandate? Take it away, Ian. What's up guys? So I'm actually in collaboration with the real estate mate um, today down in Cape Town and we're taking on the subject of overcoming objections. And the first thing that I want to say is never let what you want to say get in, get in the way of what the person needs to hear. Wow, so never let what you want to say get in the way of what the person needs to hear. So that means that you can lead a meeting by doing less talking. That means that the owner needs to do most of the talking for you to get the same results that you want to get. So in order for you to get the exclusive mandate, to get a sale, to, to get anything, you just need to ask more questions and do less talking. Crazy quote, but let's think about it. So let's get right into this and just imagine you're at the Tour de France at the mountain climbing stage. And to overcome this object, because this is the freaking most insane stage at the Tour de France. And to overcome this object, you just need step one to pitch to the race. You need, just need to be there on time, otherwise they're going to go without you. So you just need to be there on time. Step number two for this race is just pitch and be excited and really fire up to do this thing. That's step number two. Be excited and get fired up to do this thing. Step number three is, you gotta be dressed for the race. <laughs> you can't really be dressed and getting there in your jeans and sandals and expecting it's gonna get you the same results when you're getting there in your gear. <laughs> so, <laughs> be dressed for the occasion, okay? Uh, or for the race in this instance, okay? And the last thing is, for this specific stage, you got to have a personal approach. You can't have an approach that everyone else around you is having. You can't have the same approach that the people at the back is having for the past 30 years. you got to have a personal approach to this thing. Okay? So just imagine overcoming that object with these four steps. you got to pitch on time. you got to be fired up and energetic. you got to be dressed for the occasion. And then... You've got to have a personal approach to this thing. You cannot have a worldly, a economical, uh, whatever approach there is in this, you can't have that. You've got to have a personal approach to this. And smack bam, the first question that I'm going to get into is the huge one. Why should I give this to you? Every owner asks this question to every real estate agent in every meeting you go to. This is the question. And why should I give this to you? So this is where we're going to start asking questions instead of doing the talking. And the question that I ask them when they give me this one is that if you give this to 10 real estate agents and you wake up Monday morning, you're wondering how's your marketing going for your house? Who are you going to call? And that's the best question you can ask. That is the reason why you should give it to me because you're giving me responsibility to make this a number one priority on my list. I'm running a few properties already and in order for me to make this a priority, you need to give it just to me because that means you're giving me responsibility, you can check in with me, you can expect feedback, you can expect first class service. 
and that's why you should give it to me because if you're giving it to 10 other people you're probably giving your most important asset to 10 people that maybe doesn't even care that much about it but if you're just giving it to one person you're controlling it you're making it important and you're expecting the best from that person and that is the best way to do it boom and that's how i answer that question though let's get straight into that second question but I don't know if I'm going to get that much exposure with one agent as I'm getting with 10. <laughs> I think this is probably the second question that you get in every meeting, every time, every day. And what you can say to an owner of year basically is that, uh, well, if you were a buyer a long time ago, you were a buyer when you guys had to look for your family for a home. And then you saw properties that was listed with 10 other agents. And you probably thought that the roof was leaking, whether the house had a roof, the bricks were cracking, whatever it is that went through your thoughts, that owner gave you opportunity to think like that. And you weren't even there to view the house. Crazy, right? So you didn't even go view the house, but the thoughts that went through your mind is that the roof was leaking, it was cracking. So the cool thing about just going exclusively with me is that we're not giving other people the opportunity actually to even think like that because we're marketing exclusively. You're getting the best photos, the best marketing, and you're getting a person that wants to represent your house, not someone that's taking photos just of the furniture maybe. So you're getting the best possible way to market your house and the best way that you can handle your most important asset. And you don't want 10 people to market your property. You want one person that really gives a lot of attention to it. Because 10 people can market it in one place like that, and then the reach is not good. So you want one person to market this and make it a priority. And then the last thing is, but I, now you've convinced them. You've, you've got their heart. You've got their heart, making it an important asset. That means that, wow, you find this really important as well. You've got them convinced now, because in the second question, you just told him that you're going to give him better exposure. So the last question is, but I don't want to give this mandate to you for six months. And this happened to me in 2020 a lot. Um, and I said to the owner, yeah, for sure. Let's do it for one month. And um, I'm going to take this on for one month. The major thing over here is now you've got to be creative. Take on a shorter mandate. You've never heard this before probably because if you, when you give them good service, not if, but when you give them good service, They'll probably extend it to three to four months. So you are getting the desired results via the mountain climbing stage. Okay, so overcoming the objections is maybe just having a different approach to this. Not signing a long mandate, maybe getting a shorter one, but still getting it. There were so many value bombs in what Ian just shared. I think wherever that objection comes through in your marketing pitch, Ian has, give you, has given you some angles on how you can just switch it around and get back to business. So if you guys like what Ian just shared with us, give us a thumbs up, do a comment, and um, ask us more objection questions which we can handle for you guys. So I want to give you my perspective and my approach of overcoming this actual objection because it is something that I, that I get a lot. And um, I've handled it in different ways, to be honest. And what I've realized is that there are really two things. Even when clients say that, I'm happy with you, they're happy with you, that is smoke and mirrors, they just wanna get you off their back. Because the questions that I ask Mr. Client, if you're happy with me, happy with, the, happy with the price, happy with the marketing, happy with the commission, are you? is there any other reason why you won't be able to list your property with me today? And I ask that at the end of my listing presentation as well. And that's usually when that objection comes up. He hasn't really said anything in the beginning, so I could not have known. So you have to really be prepared. But if he says, in, says it in the beginning or in the end, this is exactly how I would respond to overcome that objection. Understanding that there's really two things, like I mentioned, it's price and commission. He doesn't really care how great your marketing is, what you know reputation you have, or how your testimonials look like. He just wants to know that he gets the most money for his property at the end of the day. So in knowing listing with an agent exclusively guarantees more money in his pocket, this is why I will respond in this way. Mr. and Mrs. Client, just so that it's clear for me to understand and see what you guys are seeing, how your relationship with me is moving forward, I want to make sure that I understand what your main objective is. 
you want to walk away with the most money in your pocket. Am I correct in saying that? Perfect. And that is why you want to see more agents to see who would offer you more for your property. Okay, great. I just wanted to know that I actually understand why you guys are seeing more agents. If you won't mind, I want to just take 10 minutes to go through the process of what agents do to get to a value for your property. Is that okay if we go through that? And then you get there, okay, to just spend 10 minutes on that. Well, Mr. Seller, what I do and what all of us do is we go to CMA or Lightstone and draw up all the exclusive information of properties that have sold in your direct vicinity. And then that throws out estimate prices of what you could possibly achieve for your property. Then we also go to Property24, which you also have access to, to see who would be your competitors in the market. And based on those two figures, something that you have access to and something that you don't, we come up with a suggested selling price. So that being said, all of the agents get all of their exclusive information from two main portals. And that is exactly what I'm bringing to you today. The likelihood of what he will bring or she will bring, I don't know who's coming. And what I bring, when it comes to price, we should just be three to 5% indifferent. So Mr. Client, I just want to find out if there's a three to 5% difference between you doing business with me today. I want to ask again, only if you're happy with the price, do you have to list with me today? So if you're happy with the price, including that 3%, if you're happy with what you get in your pocket, if you're happy with the marketing plan that we set out, and if you're happy with me as your agent, would there be any other reason that you won't be able to list the property with me today? then you keep quiet. If the client says that they want to see this other agent just to give them a chance just for them to also present and do a valuation, I will not back down because I know that I am the best agent for the job and what they want to achieve higher selling price is exactly what I'm here to get. So Mr. Client, I understand that your objective here is to walk away with as much money as possible. Am I right? Now for me, that's an incentive as well. Because if your selling price is higher, my 4% value is also more. So there's a big incentive and motivation for me to sell your property for the most money the market is willing to offer. Does that make sense? I also understand that time is money. And I'm already here presenting and bringing you value and saving you time from listening to exactly the same information. So I am already here standing up for your needs. Mr. and Mrs. Client, I want to ask you at the end of this presentation, not right now. You don't have to commit right now, but at the end of this presentation, if you're happy with me and you're happy with the price, even that 3%, happy with the net price that you're going to walk away with and happy with the marketing plan that we are going to set out to achieve the highest price this market is willing to pay for your property. If you're happy with those four things, is there any other reason why you won't be able to list this property with me today? So that's how I have in the past overcome this objection and got the listings and it definitely works so I'm really grateful for that insight and I'm grateful to be able to share this with you guys because it's something that's real in the field and it's something that if you get through this work through this execute it and perfect it you will see a change in your business once again just a last shout out to my co-host Ian Haynes and I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to his channel, stay connected because like I said, this channel is purely there to bring you, the agent, more value from another agent executing on the daily. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time.